In the 1920s, polar adventurers such as Richard Byrd tested the boundaries of the world. Legendary explorer Roald Amundsen took a Latham 47 seaplane with him on an expedition to the North Pole in 1928. Together with pilots Leif Dietrichsen and René Guibault and three others, Amundsen embarked on a rescue mission to save crew members of the Nobile airship that had crashed onto pack ice. Sadly, the rescue mission itself came to grief when the Latham plunged into the Barents Sea, possibly after encountering fog. A life raft made from one of the seaplane's pontoons was later found. None of the crew was ever found. Another polar explorer who used the versatility of seaplanes was Australian Hubert Wilkins. Wilkins became a pilot during the First World War and continued his flying career in the 1920s, making the first flight across the Arctic in 1928 with Ben Eielson in a custom-built Lockheed Vega dubbed Los Angeles. Wilkins was a trained engineer who was also interested in photography, cinematography and natural science. He published a book titled Undiscovered Australia that catalogued the many rare tropical plants, animals, fossils and artefacts he collected for the British Museum in the 1920s. Wilkins took two Lockheed Vegas on his expedition to Antarctica in 1928, and Eielson made the world's first flight over the icy continent in Los Angeles. When San Francisco, the second Vega, was ready, both planes took to the air. Unfortunately, the Los Angeles wheels skidded on the ice and it tumbled into the water on landing. Eielson was unhurt, but it took quite an effort to recover the Vega. Floats were then attached to the aircraft to allow water takeoffs and landings but rowdy seabirds made it impossible for the aeroplanes to take off safely. Wheels were reattached and the proper landing strip cleared along the beach. 